Alrighty, today's video will be about the leather set. A lot of people already know about this one, but if you don't, here is the video just for you. So this armor set is my favorite armor set throughout all of the Soulsborne games. So where we will be heading is the Murkwater Cave, which is just very close to the first step. You can literally get this armor right off the bat of starting the game. But yeah, this armor set is one of my favorite armor sets throughout all the Dark Souls games. It's probably my favorite in Dark Souls 2 and 3 as poise wasn't really a thing. It was kind of Poise got backseated in those games, so you could really just wear whatever you want in those games. Alrighty, so... Head down here. There will be no enemies that you need to really fight. You will have to fight one person, I guess you could say. An invader. And, of course, a boss. So, simply run through here. Don't worry about the enemies. They won't follow you or anything. They'll lock on to you, and you can stop right about here. You can stop right about here and wait for them to lose their aggro. Because you will get invaded once you go past this little tree area. And a fog wall will pop up, which means you can't enter the cave. You must kill the invader first. In order to cheese the invader, you can simply run all the way back to the bridge. So once you get about to this area, you should hold out for as long as possible. Run back and forth, even in giant circles. The invader has trouble when he comes to jumping. So keep that in mind. As Bloody Finger Hunter will pop up and aid you in your battle. And you won't really have to do much, just poke the invader every once in a while. They both will have one S discharge. After that, head down into the cave, the Murk Water Cave. Light the Bond Grace if you'd like. You can even summon people here if you'd like. Simply run straight through. Don't worry about any of the traps on the floor. They just alert the enemies. Make a right and run down. And there will be a boss fog right here. Go through the boss fog. Open the chest. And patches will show up. You'll have two options. You can either beat Patches down and then he'll beg for his life and you can spare him and it will continue his quest line. Or you can just kill him upright as his quest line isn't even finished right now. As it might be cut content, every other NPC eventually turns into a merchant or just straight up dies. But for some reason, Patches refuses to do either. He just disappears from the map, so it's up to you. As he might be cut content that is going to show up in a later update or a later DLC as they have done in some other Souls games. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and see you next time.